theme of this year's Dance Citywide Professional Learning Series was the artistic continuum, exploring perspectives on art making, teaching and repertoire, contemporary dance making practices, research, collaboration and play. The first session was on November 5th and was titled Dog Veron, playing with choreographic structures and devices. We worked with Doug Veron and dancers to explore a variety of choreographic strategies to create original choreography. We played with creative and fun choreographic devices that Veron has developed through his artistic career to generate movement compositional ideas with his dancers. Today was a fantastic day, not just moving but for the soul. Um, as performers, seeing our friends and colleagues, we all came together and we just got to dance and enjoy and play and explore. It was a great way of continuing our legacy framework to incorporate some of our LMA language and what we do on a daily basis. I valued the entire process. I think that it can be taken into the classroom on any level and be done with any age group from any cultural or diverse population. I think everyone is leaving today with something essential to their toolkit that they can take back to their classroom. The second session was on January 27th and was titled Netta Hirschalmen, The Art of Investigation to Fuel Creative Practice. We looked at embodied research, how to deconstruct and reimagine choreographic works from well-known dance artists. This session was challenging because it opened up a lot of questions about interpretations of choreographic work and intellectual property, which is an incredibly exciting topic of discussion for us as educators and for our students. We used a very observant way of putting together material, looking at other people's ideas and then putting them together in a way that you may not have thought possible. So I like that my students, when they work together in, in groups, they can use each other's ideas and put them together in a new way. On March, the COVID-19 health crisis closed our schools and brought many challenges for all of us, our students and their families. But dance is what brings us together. We had to make sure that through dance education, we could continue to inspire our students, maintain their focus and bring joy to their lives. We continued to spread the values that make our dance education community who we are. Collaboration, empathy, respect and acceptance. In this time of transition, we had to learn new skills and adapt. We began the year teaching face-to-face -face in our dance spaces at school. Then we had to switch in record time to remote learning, researching, and becoming familiar with technology tools that could help us teach effectively despite all the challenges. We made sure we continued to know every student well, strengthen our core dance instruction, and implement a relevant, responsive, meaningful, and inclusive curriculum with quality digital resources. On June 4th, I share a virtual presentation on remote dance learning with our colleagues that showed the work of four dance educators who had been successful in engaging their students with innovative dance instructional materials for remote learning. There have been some beautiful surprises with our online remote learning. I think because of the amount of resilience and creativity that students have, they've explored new opportunities in ways that they might not otherwise be forced to. We continue to learn and share how to use these virtual tools to support our DOE dance teachers and their students as we hopefully move from remote to blended learning in the fall.